Hi and welcome Pisces, Rose Burnett here from Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your weekly tarot reading for the 7th through to the 13th of January. It is a general reading, so take from it what you will. And uh, just want to give a big shout out to my subscribers for uh, your likes, your comments, your shares and your subscribes. You're rocking awesome. For those of you that are brand new to my channel and the first time you're watching and you enjoy this reading, hit the subscribe button so you can get more great content from me. 2019 predictions are out now on my Vimeo channel. They're an extended 45 minute reading for your star sign on everything you need to know going forward. Link's going to pop up over here. They're only $8.95 and uh, you can go and check out the trailer uh, for Pisces. And uh, also I'm going to be uh, popping up a $15 coupon code for this month for January. And it's valid until uh, the 31st of Jan. You can get $15 off any of my personal readings as well as the two packages that include a distance Reiki energy healing session and personal reading, yeah? And uh, I'll also put that information in the description box below if you're looking for it. So let's get started with your reading. And uh, I've pre-shuffled the cards and drawn them. So first up, we're gonna look at your heart and soul energy with the uh, Heart and Soul Energy Deck by Tony Carmine Saluno. And have a look at this. It's so beautiful. And uh, what it says, Pisces, is you may not be aware of it, but a tapestry full of positive outcomes and spiritual blessings now permeates your aura. The grey clouds are lifted, replaced by soft, radiant light. The past will soon be behind you. Let it go and embrace the positive times ahead. I've got to say, the most perfect message going into a brand new year. Mm -hmm. So in terms of love and romance, I've uh, pulled two cards for couples and two cards from, for singles from the Romance Angel deck. So for couples, you've pulled. Yes, this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner that you seek. So if you haven't having any doubts, it's confirmation that yes, it is your partner. It is your life partner, your soulmate. Um, you should know that within your heart space, yeah? Absolutely, even if it's new, it's definitely confirmation there. You've also got a message to pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. You know who this relates to, right? Um, don't ignore the red flags, they'll trip you up. It's about openly, openly discussing them with your partner. And uh, in terms of singles, uh, you've pulled, uh, and this has been coming out for Pisces for quite some time. I'm a Pisces, by the way. This has been coming out in my readings constantly for about the last three months. It's about spending holiday time together, uh, whether it's weekends away. Uh, it's just going to allow you that time to connect with each other. And it, it can also mean you just going away and enjoying yourself, having some fun, whether it's with your friends or by yourself. Uh, you've also got the message to give your relationship a chance to work on that partnership, um, particularly anyone new coming into your life, about giving it a go. You just never know where it'll lead. And if you're not looking for love, totally fine, yeah. Okay, in terms of your general energies from the Goddess Guidance deck, you pulled Diana, which is all about focused intent, focusing what it is that you want to achieve in 2019, going after what it is that you want, um, writing your goals down, what actionable steps do you need to take to uh, move you towards them? When you do that, you're going to hit your mark. Very important message, I've got to say. You've also pulled uh, Aphrodite, which is your Aphrodite energy. You're in a goddess. Whether you're a guy or a girl, you're in a god goddess. Yeah, It's about appreciating your own divinity, how amazing you are. Um, self-love, self-care, nurturing, having fun, and injecting fun and adventure into your life, passion. From the uh, crystal reading deck, you've pulled past life, lapis lazuri. Okay, a couple of meanings to this. The past life relationship, this could be the one means it's a soulmate or a twin flame. Mm -hmm. It can mean you're going to have past life gifts and talents coming through to you, ancient wisdom, downloads coming from past lives, from your spirituality, your divinity to you. Um, yeah, listen to those messages that come straight from the angelic realm. You've also pulled courage, tiger's eye. Um, I'm going to say courage to go after what it is that you want. Courage to be yourself, your natural self, particularly your uh, goddess, you're a god, you're in a goddess Aphrodite energy. Also have flexibility, resilient, um, flexibility in love, flexibility, flexibility with your goals and dreams. Yeah, because 
From the angel oracle, you've got the message to take a leap of faith. The dreamer, Archangel Metatron, go after what it is that you want. Follow your dreams. It's going to lead you to unexpected opportunities, whether that's in love or whether that's in your life path, life purpose. Um, you've also pulled Archangel Gabriel. It's one of the strongest archangels in the universe. In fact, you've pulled um, two of some very powerful gods, yeah, uh, or archangels, should I say. So uh, this awakening is about looking at things from a different perspective. Um, you might have been looking at them a certain way. Well, the universe is telling you to change that perspective, take into account other people's um, perspectives as well, other than just your own. It does say it's important to be yourself, yeah. There might be some delays to your plans, which is it's sitting right next to flexibility, so just be mindful of that. Um, in terms of your crowning energy, you've pulled the card for truth, yeah? So I'm going to say the fact you've also got pay attention to the red flags uh, for couples in love relationships is don't, don't um, I guess, discount or ignore the truth of what's going on in your life. Uh, it's also about being truthful with yourself about what you're most passionate about, what you want to do in 2019 that lights you up. Um, it can mean a truth's about to be revealed to you that could lead to change. Let's pull the guidance for you. And uh, this is from the Sacred Powers deck. And the message is, Pisces, disarm your ego, face your fears. Habitual thoughts and fear-based emotions are related to us through our ego. Fear is the primary action of the ego and causes us to hold on to our intellect, habits, impulses and instincts. Like a dedicated actor sticking to a script, the lower self creates obstacles when you attempt to nurture yourself, grow your spirit or support your soul's potential. Forcing thought when you actually want to be still can either drive the exploration of ideas or paralyze day-to-day -day activities. Paralysis can cause feelings of stagnation, being stuck in the past and trapped within your own circumstances. Ultimately, the lower self takes us out of the present moment and we stop truly living. That's so true, yeah? We can only ever live in the present. Focusing on the past causes barriers to reaching our higher self guidance and inner being. It's common for people to assume that the ego is an all negative and bad persona, that we should lock up and never let out. In fact, the ego can push people to take risks, be adventurous and entrepreneurial. So who are you? This knowledge will empower and inspire you to push past ego boundaries and fear-based subconscious thought patterns. Train your ego to take a back seat. Right now, you need to disarm your ego. Focus on the now and what you can physically achieve in the moment. Push past the fear and face it head on. Fear, feel the fear and do it anyway. I think we've heard that so many times, haven't we? The ego mask is a mental shield that is neither good nor bad aspect of you. The ego is not something that can be destroyed, so we must make peace with it. Remove your mask and see what's hiding behind it. Be mindful of others' masks as well. You are not seeing or accepting the reality and truth of the situation. Hello, there's a little warning there, Pisces. Recognise your emotions when they arise. Accept them without judgment. Release them with love and gratitude and act appropriately and uh, there's an affirmation here which says I am creating peaceful experiences I acknowledge and accept emotions as they arise within me without judgment wow it's a very profound guidance there Pisces all right if you enjoyed this reading please like share comment and subscribe to my channel and uh, don't forget, grab your coupon code if you want $15 off any of my personal readings and the two packages that include a reading and distance rates of energy healing. Check out your 2019 predictions. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.